All right, so in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys 10 tips that you need to rank up, get better at the game, whatever it may be. These are just 10 really good tips that I think will really help you guys. I really want to start a series of this like throughout the week where I just do like 10 different tips because I'm always grinding TikTok and I never really bring it over to YouTube. But let's get into this. Now, the first one is going to be with Legion. If you're on border, for example, and you shoot this out right here, you can actually place the Legion mine inside of the floorboards again now if you're unaware since they did change legion you can't just throw them normally inside of the floorboards it's just it sucks but just the way it is but i did find out that you can actually place them in here like this and you could do the same thing over here by this tarp right here you can throw them like this and this will be really good for whenever anybody's coming over here they'll walk into the legion mine but like why is this let me explain so i found out that you can actually do that in any spot that has a light or surface by it as you can see this map has so many so you could do it in every single spot that you see a light you can do it as long as the floor is destructible obviously you can't do it right there but you can do it right here and border is not the only map i'm currently working on a tiktok where i show it on every single map i tested it out on it works really well on outback and really well on layer two but these just work really well because like you can hide the legion mines way easier and it's much more rewarding because of how much more damage the legion mines actually do now this next tip is going to be with ram and you could do this on just about any balcony window i'll get into it but imagine you're on clubhouse and you're attacking this main breach <laughs> obviously it won't look like this but like just imagine you're attacking the main breach right what you can do before you open the breach is you can throw a ram device down let's say right here for example and you can actually use it like a mirror right so like this is completely bulletproof i can't even shoot through this right now you like can completely swing left and right and you swing so fast left and right so you can easily get yourself like so many free kills however when you place it properly right let's say you hang it off the side like this you actually can shoot from underneath it so as you can see right here i can literally shoot underneath it my bullet holes right there if i wanted to i could literally just spray right here like this obviously it's a little bit harder you have to make sure you have you know better recoil control but still this is a really really good way to be able to like just get the most disgusting kills as you can see those are my bullets those are my bullets i shot the tv and this is the angle the defenders are trying to contest you on. Like, you see how you can't even see that angle? But, but like, you're literally underneath there. You can also do the same exact thing on windows, for example, right? If you were to throw it at a window, just make sure you throw it up high, like this. It will make a little divot in the ground, like this, or, like, it, underneath it. Where you can then shoot through. So, like, for example, if you want it to be this big, you have to be this big. It just depends on how high you throw it. Even that would be harder to contest. Still, that's the defender. Also, a little extra tip. That trick that I showed where you could see underneath it, you could do the same thing in any door, in any uh, window that you repel up. So windows like Oregon work really well. Any of those windows, you can throw it on and repel, and you can see underneath it. Now for this next tip, we're going to be on Clubhouse again, except we're going to be on Gym Bedroom. So you know how people love to play right here with a mirror, and people just like to rotate, you know, in between here all the time. And even if they don't have, a like, a floor like this, they'll have a vault hole. It doesn't matter either or but either way what people love to do and even i love to do this too is i love to lay right here because you can actually see the feet of anybody that is outside so you're gonna be able to literally fry them as they're walking around up there trying to get that main breach right there however there is a way to counter that if you come to this repel right here you can actually repel like this and you can see all inside there inside the site inside the rotate you can see all over in there literally everything even if they don't have a rotate there, if they have a vault, you can still just shoot at it and then like destroy it. And you'll be able to see all the way inside of there. I'm not joking. I get so many free kills doing this. As you can see, those are my bullet holes. You can literally see them from all the way over here. If they're walking anywhere in this line of area, you are going to fry them. I'm telling you to start doing this. Now, this next tip is going to be on Outback and it's going to be similar to the clubhouse one. Whenever you're attacking this bomb site, you know, people always just walk around over here. They play over here like this. They'll play right here to contest this window, you know, just to kind of peek it like this. Let me show you something. If you come outside and you go on the repel right here, you can actually shoot this red box right here. This will then destroy it, right? And if it doesn't disappear, if you need to, just move it with your uh, drone. You can move any debris in this game with your drone, by the way. Little extra tip. But either way, once you destroy that red crate right there, you can get an angle all the way into this site. So as you can see, that is the bunk beds right there. That is right there. If I look inside here, I can see all the way into this site. As you can see, my bullet holes right here. That is me being able to see all the way into here. So I can see anybody that's walking around, playing, doing anything over here. That is my little head right there. Something even crazier if I wanted to get crazy. Take my ash charge and shoot it at that wall. And that will blow up on that wall. And then I can even see all the way into that green hallway all the way over there. 
How did I already have bullet holes there? I guess from when I was shooting through this. But you'll be able to see some bro. Could you actually imagine dying to somebody? Look at my head right now. Could you imagine watching the kill cam, bro? And you literally see the kill cam, and it's just that guy's head right there, bro. Oh my god, I'd be so mad. But this is actually a dirty angle. You can literally see all the way into here. It's a really good angle. You could destroy like any frost mats on the window right there. You could see anyone playing in that corner. You can see so much with this. It's insane. All right, now the next tip is going to be for shotguns. I don't know if you guys know this, but let's say you were to look at a dummy and you were to shoot 263 damage, right? Now, if you were to put a laser on this gun, okay? Remember, 263 damage was the damage, okay? Now, look at this. 347. So, we have almost gone up about 80 to 100 ELO just by putting on a laser. Now, why is this? Now, this is very strange. Um, I, this is actually something I didn't find out until too recently. Because I've always hated lasers, um, and I, I was like, why would I use them? You know, um, they give away your position, and it only helps with hip fire, not aim down sights. Uh, that's, that's false. Uh, even though it says, mountable laser sight that increases hip fire accuracy, they just lie, and it actually helps your ADS. Now, the reasoning why it does more damage is because it's making a tighter spread, and more pellets are hitting, which then means more damage. Am I a big fan of lasers? No, because me personally, I love to hold angles like this right here. Um, however, the problem with this is that my laser will be shown, so I would have to hold an angle like this and then kind of flick over to him when he comes on the corner, or I'd have to swing out like this. So, I don't really don't like lasers. However, I, I've come to the realization that it's just such a drastic difference that I would rather kind of aim a little bit more to the right so my laser is not shown, and then wide out and swing, considering the fact how much more damage I'm going to be able to put out. So basically, the tip is to, uh, use lasers on shotguns. It doesn't just help it hit fire, it helps with ADS drastically. Alright, now this next tip is going to be with Maestro. Okay, you can actually make really nice one-way angles with Maestro. So basically, if I were to sit here like this, I can place my turret down right here. Now, to an attacker, no, you're not going to see it. But once I go and go for a default plant right here, I can completely see them. And it's like a one-way uh, Maestro turret, and I could just fry them while they're going for a default plant. And they literally would have to prone and then try and shoot it, like, while this is all, like, set up with holes everywhere. So it'd be really hard for them. Now, you can do the same exact thing if you make little holes like this in the wall don't make them too big i made i made that one a little bit too big make little holes like this with your bailiff on border now i'm just going to place my micro turret as far back as i would like let's say right here then when an attacker comes in they, they can't see that they're going to come into this door or to the wall they might try and run over here to go for a plant whatever it may be whenever they walk in here i am on my turret and i can literally just go ham on them and fry them it's actually insane now you can do the same thing on organ as well let's say i were to place my micro turret down right here like this and i make lines in the wall right here i make a rotate hole right here i can actually see if anybody does hop in right here and i can also see if anybody drops down all the way over here because if they drop down right here i can see their feet obviously and i can shoot them like this and then let's say i do hop in the window and i decide to like run back over here well then i can just go like this and fry them this strat works on a ton of different places but it's well hidden because you're kind of shooting like underneath the bunk bed so it's really really good but let's move on to the next tip now this next tip is going to be with flores now imagine the bomb site is upstairs right and you know people love to sit right here all the time they love it what you can actually do is flores as you can basically punch it like this go up and down right do this you can do this on just about any wall you can go on an organ too but basically what will happen if I were to place my Flores drone down like this, and then I just go up to the holes in the wall, and I jump, right? And I keep jumping, and then I jump again, and I close it. What's going to happen is this is actually going to kill anybody that is right there. If I had someone here, I would show you that it would kill them, but I've shown it before in like a TikTok. I just never showed it in a YouTube video. It's also really good for getting somebody out of a certain area. So if I wanted to get somebody out of this corner for whatever reason, I could quite literally send my drone up this hole right here. Do the same thing that we just showed and then that will then get anybody off that area so once again literally all you're doing is following up the floor is shown just going up the entire time right and once you're on top of here jump up and then close it and it will attach to the wall the ceiling whatever it may be you can do an organ too or to the well all right now this next tip is going to be on bank and this is going to be for whenever you are attacking this bottom floor so if you buck out what i just did right let's say you could buck out this too you can actually get a really nice angle. So normally when you're attacking down here, you know, you can't really see much. You can only really see over here. But if you buck this out like I did, you can actually see all the way down on that side of the doorway. And you can even see all the way downstairs like this. So anybody that's pushing from that side, anybody that's trying to come and flank upstairs, you're going to be able to see because you're going to get a one-way angle. Because as you can see, these are my bullet holes right here. Look, bro, I can't even, I can't even see that guy. Like, I still can't see that guy. 
I would need a prone in order to see him. And that is where he'd be able to prone and crawl up. That's where the guy is at. And he could see all the way back here. It's insane. And same thing with the angle right here. These are my bullet holes right here. I can't see that. I still can't see that. I still cannot see that all the way until I come right here. Then I can see that. So like you have such an advantage when you use these angles that you're going to get so many free picks. All right, now this next tip is going to be whenever you are trying to get like a really nice angle on a window, what you can do, right, is you can shoot one and then shoot in that same exact spot, right? Shoot two. Now what this will do is this will not break the glass, meaning you can repel up without being hurt as easy. And you can see through the window. Let me show you. Now that I've done that, I can now pull up right here and I can now see inside of the site without them knowing the window broke or the or the glass broke they don't want to hear me repelling they don't hear the glass broken i get so many free kills doing this and once again all you're doing is shooting a window twice in the exact same spot it's like you're going like this one two that's it that's all you're doing that is all you're doing it's making like no noise now for this final tip of this video we are going to be talking about capitalis i'm currently running over to the spot right now now you can do this on just about any map I have a video on my TikTok where I show like the best ones to do it on. But whenever you want to clear out an area, let's say I want to clear out half wall. Now I can literally just shoot one bullet like this, right? Then shoot my capital bolt and that same exact bullet like this. Now what this is going to do is the fire is going to go through. It will hit the roof, come down and set a blaze this entire area. So this will be really good when you need somebody to move out an area. You know, you can get a free kill doing this too if you'd like depending on who you're versing, how weak he is, if he's stupid or not. But this would be really, really good for any time you need to get people out of an area. Let's say they had like one mice in the door and you couldn't just shoot it from over there. You can come below and you can do it right here. Hopefully this does help. Let me know if you guys want a, another video just like this. I can do this stuff weekly, but I will see you guys. Much love. Peace. <laughs>